a good morning. It's a good morning, Chubby Bunny. I think he's hungry. Good morning, people. We have a little upset man here. He was upset. Come on, buddy. Get some food. Food, please. <laughs> he's sleepy. No, he's hungry. Just feed him. He's always like this. He's hungry. He's hungry. That's why he has triple chin now. That is half Italian. He needs food. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Friday again, someone turned one month yesterday. Yay! Yay! He's not happy about it. He is really it. pissed about it. <laughs> You're not happy about it? It's 8.56 and he's going down for his first nap of the day. Hope you guys are doing good. The other day he was really clingy, like really, really clingy and he would like he would cry even if you're holding him. So I think he went through his first sleep. So I don't know if that was like his first sleep because it happened a day before he turned a month old. But yeah, it was something just really different from him. He isn't usually like that. If you guys don't know, babies go through leaps. There's an app called the Wonder Weeks or it's called the Wonder Weeks because it's 10 different leaps. So the first leap is around four to five weeks. And then I don't know when the next one is. I think it's around six weeks to eight weeks. So it's just a change in their body you know their mental development so many things changing within themselves so that's why they get a lot fussier and they cry a lot they're clingy so that's when we know that they're going through a leap so that's it guys he turned one month old yesterday a lot of people were like wow one month already and i can't believe it as well that it's been a month already like how quick is that i feel like i just gave birth last week or something he's really strong he can actually stand on his legs, see? But of course, I have to support him. Okay, I'm gonna feed him, guys. All right, so our new favorite position when it comes to breastfeeding is laying down because he doesn't choke on the milk in that way. Only because, like, when I'm sitting down and he feeds that way, you know how gravity works. So the milk flow is just kind of uncontrollable for him. So when I'm laying down, he can actually control it better because, you know, it's sideways and it's worked for us. <laughs> There we go. You have the milk all over your face now. Of course, I obviously have to still burp him. I have to get him up. But it's better this way than sitting. Every time I breastfeed him, like sitting, he always chokes on my milk. All right, Alex should be okay there for now. I don't want to like whisper. I want him to get used to like daytime and we can talk. But uh, I'm still trying to get used to that. Anyways, so I want to go into his room because I have to do his laundry. I have no idea how many times I do his laundry. It's just so many every day. But no, I don't do like laundry every day for him. I think it's every other day. Only because we don't have a lot of his clothes, like his winter clothes. Because it's March already and you know, winter is gonna end pretty soon. So that's why we're not really buying a lot of winter clothes. And I don't mind doing the laundry every other day anyways, because we use the washing machine. But I just wanna make sure that we have enough clothes. Really nice day. Let's get some sun. It's the only way I can get sun. <laughs> oh, it feels so good. Okay, me time over. <laughs> so the detergent I'm using guys for him is this Kiko. I think I just bought this at a grocery shop. It smells, it smells good. It smells nice and fresh for the baby. And this is good for zero months plus. Kiko is actually a good brand. Um, I don't use any fabric conditioner, though I have fabric conditioner. But maybe I'll use that when he's a little older because, you know, newborn skin is kind of sensitive still. Uh, Marco's already working. And how is our baby boy? Still sleeping. Cute. I noticed that he likes to sleep on the couch. <laughs> well, as of yesterday, he slept longer on the couch than on his... His stroller. I've been letting him sleep on the couch um, for the past yesterday. <laughs> for the past yesterday. While Alex is peacefully sleeping, it's still really early. It's 9:30. I just wanna kind of fix my face because since I'm vlogging today, 
I just decided to just, you know, kind of fix myself a little. Because sometimes I just look in the mirror and I think, wow, you have to really take care of yourself because if you don't, you feel really, 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 really awful. And I know that I'm not going anywhere, like I'm only at the house. I realize how important it is that you still have to take care of yourself after giving birth. I mean, the first few weeks, it's okay that you kind of feel, you no, know, because you're really focused on your baby. But when you kind of get the hang of things and you have a little more time, you know, for yourself, then a little fixing up would not hurt at all. I'm using you guys as a mirror, but that's all right. Just wanted to fix my eyebrow. So yesterday he slept pretty good. So I put him down, I think, to sleep at around nine. He woke up to feed at around 12. Usually after four o'clock, it's a little bit on and off every like one hour he would wake up. Alex still has gas and I think it's a lot better than the first few days. I think it's because, you know, his stomach is maturing more. So hoping that it's kind of improving. I'm not going anywhere guys, I'm just here at the house. I just kind of want to fix myself because I feel that when I don't fix myself and I look in the mirror and I feel like so haggard, I just feel that that's when my postpartum depression kicks in like, wow, you look disgusting. And now I'm gonna go wash the dishes while our little Alex is still sleeping like an angel. Alex is still sleeping over there. I'm gonna roll over and fall off the couch because he doesn't know how to roll over yet. So again, hopefully I can get the dishes done this morning. All right guys, so halfway through my dishes, someone woke up and is grumpy because he has the gas. So we're gonna show them what massage we do, what exercise we do to get rid of your gas, right? Let me show you guys what I do. I just saw this online and it works because he farts usually. What we do is we just kinda do this, bicycle exercises, usually he's quiet, but Alex has a lot of sound effects. This, bicycle, 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 bicycle. Of course you have to be gentle. It may look harsh on the camera, but don't worry, I'm being gentle. And then you straighten it out like this. And then, are you looking at the camera? <laughs> yes. And then you put it up like this and press on his stomach until he farts. Not really, but you can wait for like five seconds. I don't know if you guys heard that. Oh, that wasn't just a fart, that was a poop as well. Do you do poop poop? Oh, that was liberating, wasn't it? That felt so good. Well done. And that's what you do. And then afterwards, he just feels a lot better. But update on the... What was that? What was that? Was that your happy noise? Yes? Um, I was able to search online guys and I found this like online shop in Rome. They're based in Rome. Filipino online shop. And I asked them if they had uh, Mancinilla, which they did. So I ordered... So which I ordered too. is a little expensive if you compare it to the price in the Philippines. But it's only like... Um, how much was it? 10 euros. Shipping is actually a lot more than how much the product is. So I'm just waiting for that and hopefully... It will help his little stomach. You gotta change you. You did a poo poo. I think you did a massive poo poo. He's still sleepy. It's all right. Come here. Come here. So I should be receiving this manzanilla. I think this week. I think it takes two to three days to get to me. Because us adults, when we have this gas, like it really hurts. Like I cringe. So what more babies, you know, when they really can't, when they don't have any control yet of themselves. It's hard to have a gussy, gassy baby because they seem to be always upset. My three other kids never had this problem. Only I think it's because it's colder, you know, it's winter time here in Italy. And we usually have this problem when it's cold, I think. Like in the Philippines, it's always warm. So, I mean, they get kabag, but you know, it doesn't last days. But then again, I think it is normal for newborns. I just don't know why. My other three kids never had this problem. Maybe it's something to do with like Filipino genes. Good job, Alex. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Alex, are you tired already? Are you tired? Are you tired? Yes! Oh, you told me you're... Oh, oh. <laughs> you rolled over. <laughs> why did you roll over? <laughs> Alex, why did you roll over? You just roll over on your own. Huh? You're so cute, you know that? Alright guys, 12.30 and I'm cooking our lunch. 
I'm just doing as they call it brudino, but it's like minestrone, but just really simple, everything organic. Um, I don't know why I said that, everything organic. Carrots, potatoes, and celery, and then we added the little pasta. It's the pasta. So it's just something soupy because it's cold outside, and it's good for breastfeeding. Anyways, um, Alex is asleep right now, which is good. Hopefully he doesn't wake up so we can have a peaceful lunch. Because usually he wakes up when we're having lunch, but that's fine and yeah. Okay guys, I am in the bedroom. Me and Alex got kicked out of the living room because Marco has a call with someone. So I'm just trying to put this one asleep, but it doesn't look like he's gonna sleep. He doesn't look like someone who's about to fall asleep. Yeah, it's currently 4.57, it's almost 5 and Marco's call has... I think it's like an hour. I'm waiting for an Amazon package to come in. So if it comes, Marco can't go down. So I have to go down. I have to leave Alex here, but I'll probably leave him in his bedroom. Hopefully Amazon guy doesn't come right now. And he comes like after like Marco's call is finished. So it's kind of hard actually, to be honest, guys, it's really hard. Um, if we compare it like in the Philippines, because in the Philippines, you can live with so many people. You guys know that. Like you can live with all of your relatives in one house. It could be like how many people under one house and that is okay. That's how Filipino families are. But here, you know, for example, me and Marco, it's just me and Marco in the house. So we got help, you know, we got help from his mom like the first few days. It has been just me and marco um with alex like if we compare it to the philippines you guys would know that if you need to go somewhere really quick to buy something or get something you just ask your i don't know your cousin or your sister or your aunt to just look after your baby for just a quick second or even your kapitbaha your neighbor you know you can just go next to oh wait pamantay naman saglit kailangan ko lang pumunta ng palengke so it's that easy in the philippines like that's how i guess open we are with each other here it's really hard because you're really on your own especially with a sango like this <laughs> like this little boy here but that is the difference between having like a newborn here in Italy or let's say overseas I guess versus the Philippines I mean of course if you have your family in Italy it's a lot different because you know you have someone let's, let's face it I mean Marco's parents are here with us uh, not here physically but you know they live in the same town but obviously they have their own lives so we can't just ask them Uy, naman. so it's just not how it works here so we're really on our own and we are just surviving day by day right buddy let's turn on the light it's getting dark. There we go. Is that better? Is that better for you? Like it's exhausting. Me and Marco talk about it and we're like, wow, I feel really exhausted. But at the end of the day, when you look at Alex, it just goes away. The exhaustion doesn't really go away, but you know, it just feels good when you just look at him. Kind of takes off the exhaustion even just for a second, which feels good. So would I suggest to have a baby overseas? No, I wouldn't suggest it because it really is difficult. It's best if you have, you know, a little bit of help. Not even help, but you know, just having other people. I'm not saying that Marco isn't helping, but obviously Marco has to work as well. He works every day and you know, the only time that you can really focus on Alex would be on Sunday. To be honest, I consider myself, or we consider ourselves lucky because Marco works from home. So he can at least, you know, let's say for example, he's on his laptop and Alex is sleeping in the living room. He can always say, babe, I'm gonna take a quick shower. Can you just watch over him for me or just listen if he cries? We are, I guess, lucky in that way, in a sense that Marco works from home. I have no idea how other people do it. I don't know how other women do it, especially single moms. It is incredibly hard if you don't get help from anyone. It's crazy how such a small human being takes so much energy from you, not only you, but everyone around him. Around him. He just wants all the attention. It's all part of it. It's all part of parenthood. It's all part of this new phase with all the needy. Sweet baby